Hey everybody, career mode expert back here again for December with Norwich City. We've got Rotherham, Bolton, Bristol City, Blackburn, Nottingham, and Derby County in a really congested month. Buckle up because it's going to be a busy one. We'll start looking ahead at some of our transfer targets for January and hopefully continue to climb the table and solidify ourselves in a promotion spot. So let's move on and get the games rolling. Now before we jump into our first game, let's take another look at our academy and how it's doing. Brandon Bell really starting to stick out here, only 15 years of age and rated 54 overall. Obviously Dominic Griffiths also at 53 starting to shape up. And if he can develop a little more, he already is 16 years of age, so we can sign him into the squad and start getting him some minutes. But I do want to see more for him before that happens. And it is Stoke City sliding ahead of us with their 19th game on 34 points, dropping Norwich back into second. But we are still in the automatic promotion spot, and let's see if we can hold on to that. Alright, so here we go. Timu Puki warming up, and let's see what he can pull off today. And it's Norwich with the ball to start. We do have Godfrey in this defensive midfield role once again while Tete slowly comes back from injury. Buendia, Aarons works it into the box and it's Steeperman with an early goal. Four minutes in and Norwich are ahead. Buendia through to Puki. Got Hernandez on the left side. Terrible touch and the goalie's able to get to it. Rather and plays that ball in, Aarons away. And it's Buendia switching it wide to Hernandez. Puki plays it through. And now it's Buendia. An early ball in. Puki settles and has a go. It's a beautiful finish. Second goal. And Norwich are flying high. Smith plays that into Vox and it's a poor connection. Great opportunity there. And Lewis is turned by Taylor, who gets another great ball in. It's Newell in the back of the net. Two to one. And Norwich concedes with a header. Rather again with the direct play down the field. It's a great pass, and they put it in for a second. And no, they don't. It's just offsides, and we got away with one there. Hernandez beats his man again. A great tackle by Robinson, and it's out for a corner. He tried to take the ball back outside to get a cross in. Aarons with a great tackle, wins the ball back, and now it's Leitner. Wendia making a nice run. Now Wendia back to Aarons. It's a volleyed cross in, and Pookie with this spectacular overhead kick attempt, but he can't connect with the ball. And now it's Aarons in behind again. Puts one in. And it's Pookie there to finish for a third. Another great counterattack by Norwich, and Aaron's bagging another assist this season. Great play and a deserved lead here at home. The ball is up, Rotherham with it, and that is full time. That win takes us to 36 points, still one behind Stoke with 37, but ensuring our gap above Leeds is still three points and a little bit of safety starting to form. All right, so next up, we've got Bolton at home. And here we go. The game getting underway here at Caro Road. It's the same starting 11 as usual with the notable addition of Ben Godfrey still in that defensive mid position. He's been playing so well that I don't want to change things up. And it's the usual Captain Tete on the bench once again. We're going to ease him back from injury and keep the team performing out here. Now Hernandez in behind, great run. Gets to that ball first, and he's pulled down. The ref doesn't make the call, but that was a close one there. Aaron's with the return ball. Looks back, that shot is blasted, and it's Matthews with the save. Great technique on the first time shot there from Buendia, and it was gonna go in. Godfrey with a nice pass. Buendia through to Puki. Cuts it back, and it's Steeperman with the shot, it's wide. Close away. Amanda Hernandez. And it's Buendia. Kicks it out to Hernandez on the left. Can he make the most of this? Puts a ball in. It's knocked down by the defender. And that is halftime. Well played by Norwich in the first half. 
They look really comfortable in possession and creating some good opportunities, but it's just been unlucky so far to keep the scoreline 0-0. We just have to keep playing our game and stay confident, and we will get a goal in this. Leitner does well. It's Pookie making a run. Can he beat his man? Yes. Takes a touchdown. Has a go, and it's wide of the net. It's an unbelievable miss there from the striker, and you would not peg him to shank that shot. Really poor, and it looks to have just been enough by the defender to put him off of that shot. It's Bolton with the ball now. MEOB passes it through. In for McGinnis, and Cruel makes a huge save. It's their first real look at goal all night, and that was a good chance. The goalkeeper did really well to close down. The midfield working the ball around nicely. Steeperman into Hernandez, has a go, and it's blocked by the defender. Hernandez intercepts. Takes his man on. He has another chance here. Has a go at goal. It's a save. That ball intercepted well by Pookie. And he plays up Godfrey, who's actually in a lot of space here. Takes a big touch and can't beat his man. It's the unlikely defensive mid there with the chance. It's in the 90th minute now. Can Norwich make something happen? Hernandez making that run in behind. Takes the ball out wide. He has two men on him. Can he make something out of this? Cuts it back. It's Lewis with a chance to cross. Puts it in. Doesn't find anyone. Steeperman gets it down. And it's cleared away. Not enough time to win the ball back. And that's full time. A very close game there. Norwich giving it their all, but can't break the deadlock. The game ends 0-0. It's a draw here at Bolton. It's a disappointing tie that sees Stoke City pull even farther in front. However, we do still have that second position locked down with Leeds one point below us in the table still. We continue to be in good shape and I'm not super worried about it. These kind of things happen over the course of a season and we played well overall. Alright, so up next we've got Bristol City away. This should definitely be a winnable one for us. They're a mid-table side and we've been in good form aside from last game. So I'm pretty confident about our odds. It's going to be the same starting 11 once again because I think we're playing really beautifully. This does mean that Tete will be on the bench once again as Godfrey has really established himself in that defensive mid position. It's a tough call that's going to see close as our acting captain once again since Tete as our usual captain won't be on the field. But I really do think this is best overall for the team. Godfrey has really added a new dimension to the midfield, and I don't want to pull him out of that spot right now. Bristol really holding on to possession here. It's a good ball through. A deflected chance, and Cruel gets his hand on it. Great save. It's a great turn, and the shot, and Cruel is there again. Immense save from our keeper. The Bristol man did so well to turn the defender there and get a great shot off. Kelly plays it in, Godfrey away. Steeperman with a poor touch to give that ball away. It's another shot at goal from Pack and it's just wide. Steeperman, Pookie plays it through, Hernandez is in. He gives it back. Pookie looking for that return ball and Hernandez has a go from far. That's a tame effort in the end. Hernandez intercepting there, but Bristol is able to hold on to possession. It's right with the ball and that's half time. Norwich is struggling out there and it's Bristol who have looked really good so far. We have the ball to start the second half and let's see if we can change things up a little bit. And now it's Bristol on the counter. Odada with the ball ahead and he tries to play the early ball in. It's over the head of Close but also the attacker there. And Bristol again just working that ball around patiently. It's a great ball in. Pack with it, and it's Wyman with the shot, Cruel again! Amazing save, and that should have been converted. This result could be so much different if our keeper wasn't up for it. We're 68 minutes in, and it's a change with Tete coming on for Godfrey. We're also going to switch up the formation a little bit and drop two midfielders back into defensive positions to see if we can't cover some of their movement outside the box. Kelly into Brownhill. Dancing around in the box. Has a go and it's Cruel again. He is having the game of his season so far. And our defense just can't close down. Another corner. Bristol are really putting the pressure on now. And 
cruel punches away. Not a lot of time left in this match. Bristol puts a ball into the box and it's over the net. They have had so many chances against us, but haven't been able to convert any. Bristol have the ball back, charging down the field, and that's full time. There was a lot of chances in this game, and most of them came against us. I feel pretty fortunate to come away with a point, and that is just so poor from our team. We need to be doing better if we want a realistic shot at promotion this season. This is a long month of games, and it's going to feel even longer if we continue getting results like this. We're going to have to bounce back in the next one and come up with a big win. We're hanging on to second place, but barely one point ahead of Leeds still. And this game against Blackburn is a chance for us to really get back into form and pull ahead once again. Alright, so let's see what kind of response the team can come up with here. It's a must-win match if we want to hold on to this second place position. Hernandez in there for Pookie, making a brilliant run and gets the touch ahead of the defender. He hangs onto it there, They're so well done. And he pings that ball back up to the top of the box. It's Tete with it now. Steeperman has a go. Ronchich up to Tete. Steeperman turns and has another shot. It's blocked and out for a corner. That ball put in. Tete gets ahead on it. Pookie settles, has a go, and it's a beautiful save by Raya. The shot looked really casual there, but it was going in. Pookie so well on the volley to try to dink it over the goalkeeper. Pookie drops back, has a go from distance. It's a real laser, but it's blocked by Rollywell and out for a corner. A dangerous pass, and Lewis tries to settle. Doesn't matter though, the whistle blows and it's halftime. 0-0 once again. Norwich putting Blackburn under a good amount of pressure, but once again just can't find the back of the net. And Bennett with a fantastic challenge, but Hernandez does get that ball back. Hernandez again plays it in. It's Steeperman with a powerful header into the back of the net. The deadlock is broken and it's Norwich in front. It's poor covering on the wings to leave Hernandez open. And he plays such a great ball into Steeperman there, who absolutely hammers it home. Buendia with a piece of skill. Can't beat his man, but he plays it back to Aarons. Into the box for Hernandez and blasts it over the bar. It's a nice try there, but the volley is just off. Well done to win the ball back. The pressure is on here against their back line. And the full-time whistle goes. That's game. Norwich back to winning ways. It's a close 1-0, but a great overall performance. It's Steeperman looking the most dangerous, and he's the one who grabs a goal tonight. And here we go with the last game of the month against Derby County. Here we go, back at Cairo Road as the sun sets. This has the potential to be a really great match. It's Norwich with the ball and we are underway here. It's Godfrey to win the ball back though and good vision to get that ball up to Vrancic. Aaron's up to Puki. back heals it. It's Buendia, has a go from distance and it's wide of the net. Puki turns his man, has a go and it's a great save from Roos. A little selfish there from the striker, but it's a great opportunity. Look to be on target. He's looking up to the challenge tonight. Great ball up there by Darby. It's Anya with the ball. Close steps into challenge there. Takes his man out, and that's going to be a penalty. Horrendous defending there from our center back. And Darby with a great chance to go in front here. And Cruel with the huge save. Now it's Norwich on the counter. Can we make something out of this? It's Pookie in behind. Takes a great touch. Can he have a go at goal? The defender throws him off and he really scuffs the shot in the end. The play goes from one end to the other and it's Norwich again, not making the most of their opportunities. And with that, it's half time. It was an exciting first half. We had a lot of good looks at goal. And obviously Cruel with that enormous penalty save to keep us in this game once again. He has had an outstanding month. Hernandez, good interception. He centers the ball, it's Vrancic with it, and he makes no mistake in front of goal. One to nothing Norwich, and it's our center mid getting into the attack to help out. Great interception there from Hernandez. 
and not enough men back to prevent the counter there. For a team that was so reliant on Pookie earlier in the season, the goals are really being shared around now, everyone contributing, and our offense looks pretty balanced. Norwich in a lot of space here. It's Lewis up to Hernandez. Puts that ball up top. It's Pookie with it. Has a go. Saved by the keeper. And Morris in behind for Hernandez here. Centers it. Pookie has a go. Saved off the line. The team's battling in the midfield here. And that's full time. Norwich with another very narrow win. But we continue to grind out results. And we can head into January on a real high here. And the season's coming together so far. Pookie's still the leading goal scorer with 15 goals already this season. How great has he been? But our star man this month has been Tim Krul, coming up with enormous saves and single-handedly earning our team valuable points. Now before we end this episode, I want to take a look at our transfer hub and I've marked out a bunch of targets here that we're going to try to snag in January. Our number one target here is going to be a ball playing center back that can slide into our side and help out with some of our issues. Some of these players we've discussed already, but I've added a bunch of new names to the list, including a few defensive mids in Burnich and Kinsambi, who I think with a little bit of training could turn themselves into really solid center backs, but already have the technical foundation to play the ball out really well. You can see our German target here with great ball control, dribbling and passing stats that I think would be so valuable to our side. There's a bunch of other targets as well, but we'll sort of see how the window goes and place bids on the players that we think are achievable out here. More to come with that in the next episode though. It's gonna be a hectic January. We'll need to sell some players to fund our new transfers in, but I have a pretty good idea of where I wanna take this team, but hopefully we can bolster the squad well and really make a push for promotion here. And with that, we're at the end of this December episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be posting new videos every Friday, and if you like this content, please get active. I'll be taking suggestions, so comment what you'd like to see more of, share with others who you think are interested, and help me build this channel. I really do appreciate all the support so far. And with that, I'm the Career Mode Expert, and I'll see you all next time.